Well, I think the Chancellor's spring statement just didn't match the scale and severity of what households are facing this year. You know, the, the Office for Budget Responsibility has, is forecasting the worst drop in living standards since uh, since records began this year. And, you know, the budget is about all of us collectively. You know, we all want enough to get by on, enough to build a life, but the price of everything is going up. And obviously, uh, in April, energy bills are set to skyrocket. And for most of us, you know, the amount we're getting paid just hasn't budged. But I think we all need to remember it's people living on the lowest incomes who are hit the hardest. And unfortunately, the Chancellor's uh, statement today just does almost nothing for those households, essentially being told they're on their own. Um, you know, in April, I think we're going to see around one in three households making decisions whether they should be keeping their lights on or put food on the table. When you when you say that, and it's a, a line I have absolutely gone with and followed over the last few weeks, heat or eat, the cynics will say, um, hold on a second, it's all well and good to try and promise that we'll do this and do that, but if you haven't got it in your coffers, you have to balance the books, otherwise you end up with inflation at 30%. And I and I get from your face your answer, but I think it's important to give both sides. There's no doubt today people on the lowest incomes are going to not be, you know, sorted, compensated, whatever, as much as they would have hoped for. But I think we should also, Fran, not lose sight, as I said before the break, about the middle earners, the middle classes who do work and who do pay tax and are also going to struggle. What could he have done, bearing in mind the coffers are, uh, you know, aren't, aren't, aren't bulging, are they? And I'm not going back to that Tory one of, oh, it's the it's Brexit, it's, it's, it's the pandemic. That has had an effect. What do you say to the people who say the only way out of this is prudence? Well, I guess, uh, to use your language, some coffers are bulging, right? So he's yet again turned a blind eye to wealthy corporations and gas producers who are set to make huge profits this year. I think BP and Shell are set to make $40 billion. Um, So there's absolutely no reason he couldn't have announced uh, a, a one-off and full tax on oil and gas who, who are going to um, make huge amounts of money this year as a um, due to the rising gas prices. 